So you're planning on building a PC and you got your CPU and GPU and most of the parts figured out, but you're kind of stuck on the storage. You're thinking, should I save some money and go with the hard drive or should I spend a little bit more and pick up an SSD or maybe even an M.2? What if I told you, you can actually save money and get similar speeds to that of an SSD by paying the price of a hard drive? I'm sure some of you already heard of it. It's called Optane Memory, where we basically combine the Intel memory module with a hard drive to increase the speed of the hard drive. So in this case, the memory module we are using is 16 gigs, which will cost you around 50 bucks, and a four terabyte hard drive, which costs a little over $100. This puts you at a total of $163. Now, if you were to buy a four terabyte SSD, it's gonna cost you a little bit. Let's just say it's not even worth it. Even if you guys buy four separate one terabyte SSDs, you're looking at close to at least $1,000 anyways. With the Optane memory combination, not only do you get similar speeds of an SSD, but you get way more storage. Imagine you guys have an eight terabyte SSD right inside your PC. That's kind of what this is all about. You get SSD speeds, much higher capacities, but at a hard drive price. I also want to thank Intel and Seagate for sending these parts in and sponsoring this video so that I can test these claims and see if it's really true. I also have some extra hardware, which I'll be giving away. So make sure you guys stick around to the end if you are interested. Also guys, keep in mind that you need a motherboard that's Optane memory ready and has Windows 10 64 bit installed. So basically you will need a Kaby Lake processor as well as a compatible motherboard. Uh, currently the only chipsets that it supports are 270 and 250, but you guys have to make sure to check with your motherboard manufacturer. It's also labeled right on the box. Some motherboards may even need their BIOS flashed in order to support Optane memory, so be sure to have that updated as well. You also need an M.2 slot, so how it works is simple. Once you have your hard drive hooked up to your PC, you will need to install the Optane memory module right on your motherboard. Now if your M.2 slot comes with a shield, simply pop it open and insert the module inside and then screw it in place. After that, it's a matter of prepping the BIOS and following the on-screen instructions to set up everything. I strongly recommend you guys to watch the tutorial video, that way you don't run into any problems installing this in your PC. I'll drop a link to a few of them down below. Alright, so how fast is this Intel Optane memory module combined with a hard drive compared to just a regular hard drive by itself? Well, we're going to be comparing transfer speeds, boot up times, we're going to be launching a few applications as well as some games, and here are my findings. Alright, so starting off with the boot times, you can see a significant decrease from 40 seconds all the way down to 18 seconds. The time literally got cut in half. Launching programs like Word or Excel takes about 2 seconds on the Optane memory and hard drive combination, which is a lot quicker than the standalone hard drive. Transfer speeds were also improved significantly. So I transferred 11 gigs worth of 4K files and the accelerated hard drive finished it in a minute and 17 seconds compared to almost three minutes from the standalone hard drive. Opening up editing programs like Vegas Pro 14 took only one third of the time and launching Chrome was practically instant compared to two seconds on a hard drive. Even searching files within Windows is a lot faster. It took 19 seconds to find a file I was searching for from the start menu compared to 47 seconds on the hard drive. And then I tested a bunch of games by starting it up and also loaded a few games. So you guys will notice that the speeds in most of the games are nearly half of the speeds compared to the hard drive. Whether you are launching the game or loading a saved game, you will notice a substantial difference in load times. So in conclusion, it's actually a pretty simple one. If you guys already own hardware that's compatible with Intel Optane memory, it just doesn't make sense not taking advantage of those extra speeds. All you have to do is pick up a... All you have to do is pick up an Intel Optane memory module which costs you around 50 bucks and you can combine it with the hard drive that you already own in your PC. Now if you don't have a hard drive or don't even have a PC and are planning to build one, then I strongly recommend combining the Intel Optane memory with the Seagate 4 terabyte hard drive. With this combo, you guys get the most bang for your buck. You get high capacity storage and speeds similar to SSDs at a cost of a hard drive. Seriously, you guys get massive amounts of storage, like four terabytes, and you get speeds similar to SSDs, but at a fraction of the cost. That's pretty crazy. The only downside I see going with this route is if your motherboard only has one M.2 slot, then you have to really decide what you want. 
Should you spend a little bit more and get an M.2 SSD, which is a lot faster than anything I talked about in this video, but you get much less storage, or you get the Intel Optane memory stick and you combine it with the hard drive and get way more storage and similar speeds to that of SSDs? That is the question you need to ask yourself. So that is it for the video. As I mentioned before, I will be giving away five four terabyte Seagate hard drives and five Intel Optane memory modules to my subscribers. So if you guys want to enter to win one, all you have to do is leave a like and comment down below what you think about this video. What are your thoughts on combining the Optane memory module with a hard drive to get SSD speeds at a fraction of the price? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.